What's going on everybody? Welcome back, or welcome if you're here for the first time. Right now I'm on uh, four and a half inches of ice, about to camp out overnight, and we're going after those greasy fish that you just saw, called burbot, eel pout, uh, grease balls. I've never heard them called grease balls. But they taste really good. You can make poor man's lobster sandwiches out of them. Um, as you can tell, one of my friends already caught one. I just got a line down there, got everything set up. Got the heater going. I didn't bring a fish finder today because these fish, they cruise in on the bottom and you don't really need a fish finder for them. So we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. Um, I'm gonna be staying out overnight and I have reason to believe that we could catch 15, 20, 30 fish tonight, but it is fishing after all. So let's not get our hopes up too high. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna catch anything if I don't get to jigging. So now that I have my bed set up, we're ready to start fishing. So if you're new to the channel, maybe you're not familiar with my ice camping setup. Uh, I have a lot more videos explaining like why I use these floor mats, what they are, um, you know, all sorts of things. But four and a half inches for those of you that don't know is more than enough to walk on. It's almost enough to drive a snowmobile on. So that's what we're using as bait. Full smelt on a big heavy spoon. <clears throat> see if we can get one all right so the way you fish for these fish is you like just pound the bottom like this and then you hold it up and then they grab it and that's why you don't that's why you don't need a fish finder is because your fish finder can't even mark like the last six inches of uh you being on bottom so we're in the current stuff's gonna be moving around it's gonna die soon anyway so i'm probably gonna take it out of the water but kind of cool to see the jig right now I have a, and at least we have snacks. Oh, there's one. I'm on. It's a little guy. Oh, burb, burb. Just a little baby. So that's what a burbot looks like. Does he has big <laughs> greasy tail? <laughs> pretty cool. Yep. They're pretty sweet looking. They get this like leopard print on them. Alright, let him go. See you, dude. Thing just freaking soaked my pants, but can't complain. We're on the board finally. It's fun catching fish without a graph because you don't know when to expect it. We're looking for something a little bit bigger. I get probably about double or triple that size, so that might have been one of my smallest burbot ever. Let's see if we can get another one. On. On. We can get another one, all right. Right here. Oh my gosh, it's another freaking tiny one. He's tinier. Any of you fellas got a pliers or a forceps on you? Good thing you got the quad hole. A lot of freaking yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Send your mama here. See ya. Oh yeah. All right, man. I'll see you in the morning. Thank you very much. It was nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <sighs> okay. Well, I actually moved spots uh, with the help of the other guys. We got a triple hole drilled now. Still got the old burbot. Um, we're actually in 30 feet of water right now. Josh, if you remember Josh from, um, he was the guy that drove the freaking boat out in the middle of Lake Superior to, uh, save a bunch of people's gear. He actually helped me move. So shout out to him he's somewhere nearby jumping around right now. Um, if he's staying around longer, I'm going to make him a, a lobster roll too, but I'm getting kind of hungry. Um, so I'm going to jig for like 15 more minutes here and probably start cutting up on this boy been slow at the other spot we got those two little ones but we got to catch some big ones so we're fishing some deeper water closer to the middle of the channel and we're living on a prayer um, i also forgot to mention that it's getting a lot colder than i thought it was going to tonight and it's going to be negative eight degrees instead of 10 degrees like i thought it was going to be 
Um, so I'm dressed like not well enough for this weather, uh, but in this tent we're fine. Wind's not bad, so we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that we don't have to go outside too many times. Go. Oh, this is a bigger fish. Oh, he's dogging me. Big head shakes. What do we got? Oh! Pouty pouty! Come here. He's not that big, but he's bigger. Yeah! Pout man. Grease monkey. What's up, dude? Look at the markings on this thing. See them? It's crazy. Is that you right there? Oh, 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 oh. Bye. Oh, I got poop all over my hands. Look, you just pooped all over my floor. Hoey. Sick. I guess that move was smart. Thank God for friends, right? So, I don't have a fillet knife. I just have this knife today. Mm -hmm. um, I was, like, trying to pack lighter, and I... <laughs> like didn't pack things that actually made a big difference. So anyway, it's okay because we're not actually like flaying a burbot. You kind of just cut it out like back straps. This is like my first time cleaning a burbot, so don't judge me too hard. What's up, dude? No, yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. So I'm just cleaning the strap off this guy and probably gonna do both sides. If you want, you're welcome to stay for... Did I just get hit? Yeah, I did. Ew! Oh, dude. That's a good fish. You're welcome to stay for lobster, or poor man's lobster rolls if you want, but this is fighting better than that other one. Oh, that is a pretty decent one. Not too bad. Burbot. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> That's okay. Got to see him at least. Quick release. <laughs> oh yeah. I think That's so much fun. Got yeah, some shoulders. These ones out here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, now that you got to see what these greasy things look like, and I actually got to catch a couple, um, it's time to cook up on them. Oh, on the new merch, which is available on mavmadeit.com if it's not available yet like sign up for the email because you'll get an email when it's released we got beanies we got hoodies no it doesn't just say mav on it look at check out the check out the drip on this boy and then I, i'm not gonna be able to show you the shirt but there's shirts too if you want to feel cool at school or feel cool at home with your parents in quarantine mavmadeit.com anyway time for a poor man's lobster roll Okay. Ta-da! You might be looking at yourself really funny and being like, hey Maverick, this isn't lobster. But I know it's not. This is why it's called poor man's lobster. I'm gonna rinse it off first, actually. We're gonna do small bite-sized chunks. Like, dude, that looks like lobster, doesn't it? Kind of? So now we have some lovely burbot meat. I did bleed this fish out so the meat is very nice and white and you can see it's a little bit iridescent. It looks like lobster meat, right? Like similar? The ghee might be the most important piece of this meal. This is clarified butter. So it's basically butter without the milk in it, the dairy, and it has a very high smoke point. Pan. Things get hot. Turn that on. We have ventilation here, a little bit there. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toast my buns. Shouts out to Josh McFads for teaching me how to make one of these, by the way. But, all right, so the first ingredient, celery. Oh, celery. I'm gonna dice up like super thinly. I gotta get these super small. And it's gonna be difficult without a chef's knife, but we're gonna do it. 
It's gonna add some crunch and of course some nice flavor to the sauce. We are making a poor man's lobster roll after all, so like it doesn't need to be perfect. Chives, a very important step. Now, lemon. One of my buddies actually just got a dog named Lemon. It's kind of funny. Dang, Lemon. Lemon, like it. Seed fell in there, not good. Next thing to go in here, the most important piece of the pie is this juice. Mayonnaise, which I actually like kind of despise. I don't like mayo, but I love lobster rolls. And this is a main component of a lobster roll, so. Oh, that's nasty. Mix it up. All right, that's it for the sauce. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Nothing to it. Take our fish, or our lobster. All right, so our meat's cooking up. We got a lot of extra ghee, which is good because that's gonna make a nice addition to our sauce. We're almost ready for assembly. All right. Our fish is done. See how firm it is? Ooh, very hot. I don't really wanna... That was spooky. Okay, uh, how should we do this? Okay, we'll just toss it in there. There we go. For the finale here. I will take my tiny knife and cut chives. Amazing. All right. What do you think about this? Does this look suspect or does it look pretty good? I think it looks pretty good. Really don't know what to expect though because I, like I said, I'm not a super fan of mayo, but. It's so good. Everything here to like make these rolls cost me seven dollars, whereas getting a lobster roll at my local place would be like sixteen bucks, and they're not even that good. I'd actually say that this roll is better than the lobster roll that I can get in town here, and I made it myself out here on the ice, catch and cook. I mean, mine doesn't look that great either, but it tastes a little better. All gone. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the sketchiest ice that I've slept on, at least this year. Well, sketchiest ice that I've slept on, ever. Well, hopefully I'll be okay. That is so not chill. That is so spooky. I do have a rattle reel with, a hook a smelt on a really heavy spoon. See if anything takes that throughout the night. So now if something grabs it. All right, well, this is good night. Hopefully we're still here in the morning, even with all these ice cracks, but. All right, good night. All right, so in the middle of the night, last night I woke up to the rattle reel going off. It's just one little pout. It's like 6.30 now, we're gonna fish for a little bit, and I gotta get off the water early this morning. Look at that sunrise, dude. Purdy. So, burbit are a fish that primarily bites at night. So we might not catch any right now, but we could. Got about an hour left in me before I gotta pack up. I Fishing is always humbling, huh? If there's one lesson I've learned like 16 times this winter is never go into anything, especially fishing, with expectations. So, caught some fish. Got to make the most of the night, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Until next time, my name is Maverick, and you're under the drill. Just keep on trucking.